Hello everyone, today we present you the components available to support a crown or a bridge that closes on the platform of the Prama implants. This solution for looting technique can be used on all Prama necks and on all Prama platforms. The standard version of our T bases has a 4mm or 6mm high cementation cone, both in the engaging version for single crowns and in the not engaging version for bridges and multiple structures. When the implant has been positioned deeper, or when the transgingival path is particularly developed, it is possible to opt for the T-base with transgingival height from 1 to 3 mm, only in the version with a 4 mm high cementation cone. These T-bases are sold together with the relative fixing screw, VM2-180, included in a package. If you need to tilt the switch channel, it's possible to use the dynamic interface, a T-base with a 4 mm cementation cone available in both engaging and not engaging versions. Let's see an example of digital use of these components. I'm using Sweden Martinez Archiplan software, but obviously the libraries are also available in ExoCAD, 3Shape, Dental Wings, IPSOCAD and Primal Designer as well. After downloading the libraries for Sweden and Martina implants and importing them into the desired modeling software, we can select the library for the prosthetic components to be used. In this case, I have to choose a standard T-base closing at platform level, so in the first column I select the implant system, in this case Prama. In the second column, the software shows me various components to be used. It's very simple because you will find the same codes as in the catalog, so just consult it and select the chosen code as also in the digital library. In this case, as mentioned, I have to select from the library a standard T-base closing at platform level for a promo with a diameter of 3.8. The code is A-B-A-S-T-Z-R-S-330-4. At the end of the code, the software reports the diameter of the implant on which the piece is used 3.3, 3.8, 4.25 .3 .3 and 5 for a correct matching with the analog. Obviously, the component will fit on all Prama implants because the internal connection is the same for all implant diameters. Once the type of component has been selected, I will have to select the type of scan body used by the laboratory or by the doctor during the intraoral scanning. Prama flag has a dot laser mark to make it well recognizable from the long flag to be used in case of deeper position. In fact, we will find a flag scan body, long flag scan body, the old intraoral scan body and the lab scan body. Once the modeling is completed, we can make our model transparent to see the analogs and the T-bases used. Depending on the material we choose to use, we must respect the parameter indicated by the manufacturer regarding the minimum thickness. The minimum recommended thickness depends on the material that we use. For zirconium, for example, it's 0.5 mm. For resin-based materials like PMMA, graphene or composites, it's 0.5 mm. For peak and metallic materials, you can use 0.4 mm and over. It's possible to customize your own parameters, always taking care to respect the recommended minimum thickness. On the other end, it's not possible to modify the cement space between the T-base and the crown because it's imposed by the library. Once the modeling has been completed, it's possible to mill the structure in-house if you have a milling machine or to send the file to the Sweden Martina Milling Center Eco through our portal. What we will get in both cases will be this. As you can see, the standard T-Connect, in this case with a 4mm cementation gun, has an index that allows you to reposition the crown. If the index is not positioned correctly, the crown remains visibly raised. Just rotate it until the correct position in its notch is found. The not engaging T-Connect doesn't have this index to facilitate the positioning of the bridge, which however is unique. It's recommendable to use the T-Connect to the structure before fastening it on the implants. 
Working on a model is very precise as the analogs have two large repositioning faces that allow you to find their unique position within the model. For any doubt, the DWF assistance is always at your disposal at the contacts you see behind me. Do not hesitate to contact us.